Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Um, I, I just uh, hope everybody's out okay there. I, I just want to share something about uh, atheism, which uh, is a really important uh, observation. Um, I'd like you to do an experiment. Uh, if you're an open-minded atheist or if you're a Christian, I want you to do an experiment. I want you to type in uh, Christian worship. Type into YouTube on an get an open open just open please just for this second uh, another uh, window so you can get on YouTube on it in another way as well as here. Okay, so as you do that, just type in worship Christian worship. Now just Google in and pick any video you'd like to find any video you you like. At random, just pick it, press it on, listen to it. What are you hearing? Are you hearing any negative attack against anybody? All right. Now take uh, type in uh, Christian preacher, Christian preacher. All right. Just type in uh, on YouTube. See what comes up. Just pick anything random. Okay. What is, what, what's the person doing? Chances are just probably preaching the Bible. Okay. Now type in atheist or atheism. Alright. In YouTube. Pick any video you like. Chances are it'll be a negative, something negative. Am I right? It'll be negative. Um, this is how a Christian defines their personality. All right. The reason why I'm on coming out of atheism is because I just feel there's so many atheists out there that I feel there's a need to just critique atheism, and uh, there will come a time where. I uh, will stop doing it. I know I keep saying I will, but it will come a time. But this is how a Christian is to be defined. It says, If I speak in tongues of man and of angels, but have not love, I am only a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love I am nothing love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it is not rude it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrong love does not delight in evil but rejoices in the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always perseveres love never fails but where there are prophecies they will cease where there are tongues they will be stilled where there is knowledge it will pass away for we know in part and we prophesy in part but when the perfection comes the imperfect disappears when I was a child I talked like a child I thought like a child I responded like a child when I became a man I put away childish things behind me now we see but a poor reflection in a mirror then we shall see face to face now I know in part then shall I know fully even as I am fully known and now these three remain faith hope and love but the greatest of these is love here's the deal Christianity defines itself on love whether you agree with it or disagree with it that's what Christianity defines itself on love and when you become a Christian that is how you are to define your life on love he says if you do not love my disciples you're not mine he uh, says if you don't love the disciples you, you're not you're not a disciple in other words it's got to be a life of love that's how you define yourself as a Christian that's how the Bible defines Christianity as a disciple of love right so basically the Christians most of their time is spent doing good helping people caring for people All right. and they, a, a Christian's identity is not is nothing to do with the enemies of God it's all to do with what you are in this issue of love that's what it's all about 
Now for atheism, you're defined by your enemy. You're defined by your enemy religion. Whereas the Christian, you're not defined by that. You're defined by love. There's a massive difference. So what you find is if you go on all the websites of the atheist on YouTube, look at how they gain their identity. They gain their identity by attacking religion. That's how they define themselves, how they're able to define their identity. That's bad. You can't build a society on that. But Christians build their identity on love. And like I said, you just type in Christian worship, see what's happening with the worship people, what how they're worshipping, what they're doing, they're singing praises to God. They're not singing hate messages or anything like that, they're just singing praises to God. Now type in the word atheist and see what the atheists are doing. 99% if not 100% attacking religion. Alright? You can't define yourself, define your identity in what you attack. You define your identity on who you are. For Christian it's about love. Now I know you're all going to say, well, look at him, look at him. Uh, 900 videos in so many weeks, in a few weeks. And I'm here to do a specific job. My specific job is to make sure that there is content out there that that can counteract this aggressive atheism and to help atheists who are open minded to come to know the Lord. Okay? Um eventually and it it is coming I'll have to branch out uh, away from atheism because I, I have a love for Muslims and I have a love for uh, Hindus and Buddhists etc and and I keep wanting to give up but I keep seeing the atheists bang on and bang on and bang on and bang on all the time but I feel that you can't give up you can't give the space up to the atheist but the point what I'm getting at is the Christian is defined their identity by love type in the word Christian and see what the Christians are doing Type in the word atheist on YouTube, see what the atheists are doing, and you will principally find the atheist, with, without a shadow of a doubt, are always are defining themselves by attacking religion. All the time, it's attack, attack, attack. Um, if they're not attacking, it's a mild criticism, because they know they don't want to alien... They want to win this middle ground of people who are neither Christian nor atheist. They want to win them and secularize them to their ideas. But generally speaking, they are building their identity on what they attack. Just a bit of social analysis there for you folks. Type in my experiment, Christian, Christian then atheist. And see what the atheists are doing, see what the Christians are doing. The Christians are getting on evangelizing, helping the poor, etc. That's how they see their identity. The atheists are getting on banging religion. There's a big difference there, folks. Take care.